would be funny. Mwingine tukina na tafikiria hivyo. Napasema tike Yesu makofi mazuri. Bana Yesu na sasa. Si masao ni funny. Eh? Taingine hata tikosu beyond your understanding. Bana Yesu na sasa. Ana kupiga tu makofi na tike Yesu. Kina kwa ni ajabu. Bana Yesu na sasa. But just because you don't understand when it is a device to do so, you do so. That's the name of the living God. For Sabatu Ujui, the Bible says that everything you do for Christ is not in your name. When it's not Cesar. Hata kama itifika wakati wa mesema duka, duka tu, hata kama uwezi. Hata kama uwezi. Just to tell me, you don't know what you are planning. And whatever you plan, so shall you be. Amen. Sipo ndi utabona. Hapa, hapa, hapa mahali pa mungu Wacha tusitanganyane Wana yuna sika sana For Galatians say that God is not mocked You can mock me Because I'm limited In whatever thing I'm doing But God himself is not doing that one He's not mocked Whatever man plans So shall be Pray the name of the living God I want to speak about our own life na nitakuzia mambo mengi sana ikiwezekana kidogo kulingana na wakati kwa sababu lazima tukaze kubadilisha mawazo yetu bwana Yesu na sasa na sijui kama tutakubaliana na mimi kwa sababu wacha we are doing in as much as we are doing kwa sababu tunatakana kufanya it matters a lot what we do, what we do we get from what we are doing now. What is my special? Mwimbaji mwaja kaima kasema u mahamuzi yako. Mahamuzi yako? Mahamuzi yako? Matokeo ya kisho. Ni matokeo ya? Whatever you decide to come to them. That is why mimi ikifika mambo ya Mungu na badilisha mawazo yangu completely. Bwana Yesu nasikia sana. Iwapo kuna kitu chochote nilikuwa nimejifunza, iwapo kuna kitu chochote nilikuwa natenda kwa ajili ya Mungu, lakini ikishafika wakati huu lazima nibadilishe mawazo yangu kabisa. Bwana Yesu nasikia sana. Lazima ni niangalie kwa mtazamo mwingine. In other words Nataka ni yanze from zero to understand who is this God. Praise the name of the name of God. Wana sikia sana. Si saiki lo mwanda naishi maisha yake. And you can speak about your own life. Na wengine tumevika mahali tumejikaza kutinua maisha yetu diwango ya wengine. Wana yesu nasikia sana. Ukitangalia nungu yangu na kata kuwa na hila na kaa Pako unatoka bane Umeja na muka za zino nime na nime ni nyuwe skakati yangu Sisa wazawa Lakini katika haya yote Kuna maisha kapaya tumitiwa na Kristo Yesu Hapa pawiti kumida Kwa mezi masweza Mara kwa mara It is long Around 12 years to 13, Okachi Nilianza Kuchapea is the family. Let me let you tell you, for the past years, I've been working on this journey back to life. What is the answer? It's always the Kuchapua, the Kukamua, Kile Abacho, Kuchapua, Kile Abacho. But in the Mephika Mahani, Kuchapitiria Yisuri, and Kawasa Yisuri, I have to change my mind. Kwa Yesu na Sfesa, kwa na Sfesa. Kwa kila kitu ni nato kipanya kwa wakati tu, kazima ni kawesi kongo kwa kitu sana. Asa, wakati ni kujua kwa mba, kumbe alibai ni ishi na isha ya. Na katakana ni ishi na isha na yule ambayo ni kujua. Kwa Yesu na Sfesa. That is why I am changing my mind to my kitu. No wonder the Bible says that if you trust in the Lord, your God will be for all of you. 
And there are so many circumstances in life, in this life, that can force you to put in meditation in trust in God. One is my sister. Asasa na wakati unapo kika mahali umedaka kumpata Yesu. Kuna mambo ya napanika ya jabu. Na kama uwelewi, lazima utakata chama. Wale Yesu na sasa. That is why unawana wala nasema katika makisha yake. Be vigilant. Be vigilant. Peter na ya katuambia, be vigilant. For your enemy do what? Like a lion. Kusuri lagi ni kutaka kumbali sana. Wala Yesu na sike sana. Kwa hiko wapeli do what? Kama kwele, tumenamua kumbadana na Christo, na tutaraka kumbanyo mapenzi ya Christo, lazima iazio katika eneo na kubadolisha mawazo yetu kumwelekea mungu tota. Kwa hiko Yesu na sike sana. Kwa hiko sike sana. James always warn us that if you want something from God and you are double-minded man or woman, let this person not think you will get anything from God. What is that? Na sababu haya maandiko yako, unapo ya soma, my friend, kama haya badilishi mawazo ulio konayo kwa mungu, then be sure. You are going to miss a lot. Well, I guess you must be saying. You are going to miss a lot. But the desire of our hearts to put on the money to be in our agency to be misana, to be tishana, to be inuana. If we put our money to work, we will not be able to get it back. And if we put our money to work, we will not be able to get it back. Well, I guess you must be saying. Well, I guess you must be saying. The Bible says that. To him that is pure, all things are pure. To him that is faithful, God will remain faithful. What is in the scripture? to mission more. And then we want to live our own life of faithfulness. What do you think or what do you expect from me? Hmm? What do you expect from me? Praise the name of the living God. Mm. That is why I will take you to the scriptures. Ukisikia pola na sema ni mefike vicha bilibe vizuri. Sio pola likuwa mefupa. Wana isu na sketa. Si uli ni mungu na umia marino yaka kiwa hati. And many other times, kwa sababu tunadaka kukishi maisha yiku sisi wenele kutingana na music ma elewa. We can put some scriptures in finalos. Tunaza umia kwa matanga maneno kama kwa. Lakini here is a verse of who is alive. He said, I have fought my days. The faith have I kept. What is the last verse? And to heaven that has kept free. Wote ni wambi wa bendu. Hata maisha yake. Pepe yake. Ya nabirisha uye mundu. Ame jemia katika kumani. Wewe na Yesu na Spesa, uyu mutu anamuishi na mungu. Let us not forget, Paul says, and imitate me as I do what? Imitate Christ. In your own life, what are you trying to imitate? Una imitate me. But there is no special. And if you are imitating Christ, you want to be with a life like Christ like. Let me tell you, my brothers, you will never miss to be found where the last men like are. How to boss? But there is no special. Mi ni na shanganga o katimani na nitiya kadi o mambele o mambele o katika makati sani. Na katika mwakisha yetu ya kikristo. Na shenda, wana yesu na sifesa. Hako awali nikiwa badu niku kwa dini, 
The Lord spoke to me. It almost struck my mind. Lakini wakati nilipo ichukulia manani, let me tell you, for around 10 years, she could leave whatever God told me. But he gave me two scriptures. I was a very dedicated man in the church to move in the church. One is translation. And that is why I concur with Paul when he said the same members you used in the dark world use them to do what? To glorify God. One is translation. Na katika dini nilitembea na ngoma ya kujasiri mwingi na bidii nyingi sana. Nikifikiria kwamba hapo ndipo palikuwa sehemu ya kumwabudu Mungu na kutenda mapenzi ya Mungu. But one time God gave me two scriptures. He told me he told me about uh, that the people Actually, the book is in Isaiah. The, the verse is in Isaiah. He says that these people honor me only with their mouth, but their hearts are far away from me. I don't know how many have read that scripture. Kuna wali wa mesoma yu mkisari. Eh? Yani hao wali wa nalipenda kwa binyo, lakini mioyo yao, asili tikuwa, zikumbali ya mi. Now I ask God, what, what, what is all about this? Praise the name of the living God. He went, he took me to another scripture in the book of Luke. Ile inasema kwamba, jiwe walilo kata wa ashi limekua jiwe kula wa na pende. Na mahali penye palestrai mwe wangu ni kwamba, alisema, Heri anaeli ya kukia hilo chiwe Lita Lita mbunja mbunja Lakini mwenye hilo chiwe Lina angukia Lita msada sada Mwito meet It strike me now Ikiwa hili chiwe Kile ni angukia Lita ni mbona mbona Lili ni manzi And then I made up mind Wacha ni pali na nakeri Mimi ni jipele, heri ni jihangukie kwa Na hili punja punja kito kwa Na katika kupunja punja Minaweza ifani ya kisha ya That is how I change my mind From everything that is called religion Praise the name of the living God But that is the time I made up my mind To go into a real and spiritual church Kwa ni yesu na sikesa Because it's like me. How? Mimi ni kwe mahali na mungu wanazema Awa watu wanalipenda kwa bichu kupe kete kutumu mwenye ya iko mbali na mwenye. That is why my brothers and sisters, you may not understand me at times. You may not understand me. But when it comes to the things of God, if you have been given the opportunity to open up my mind and my heart, you will be surprised. But there is no special. Well, as a viewer, I hope you are also building your life. But there is no special. Hope you are doing what? Building also your life on the rock. Any Papa, you see me from Papa? Tunamani hale ya mambo yote Na ikifika mahali kwa mizari Ukienda kukinwa Unaongo ya bagi ya kia It is so so rough Wala ya sinasesa It is so rough Heli kamaa ya mwane wako hile ni kwamba Wakati uwe mgini wanaitua Na wewe usipaya na mwane Usikose Usikose Wala ya sinasesa We used to say these songs in that religion. Hmm? Where are names of God? Is your name be found in those books? Where is that Caesar? To my name, I think of the time of Zan. For that, I think I'm going to have my mambo and mungu. I think I'm 
ื่อไหร่ไปเราไม่ได้ไปทุ่งของปู่ตัวเสือเนี่ยคนที่เราไปคนที่ก็มาหาที่วันสนามนี้จะยุ่งประสบเนี่ยเราไม่รู้สิมันมันอะไรกันบ้างนะจะคุยคุยกันจริงนะ so วันที่ก็วันสิ่งที่เราทำไปอยู่วันนี้ก็วันที่ก็นั่งกันเสมอวันนี้ก็ Alapa kasaria mmoja anasema na mimi sikusikia jina langu na huyo akajibu wote niangalie kwenye kitabu kingine. Lo pia kuna aje. Can you imagine in that day it is happening. Baada ya majina kuitwa unakuta kwamba wewe ndio uko hapo na hata kiteta ukipanda fellowship. Alapa pia mmoja niangalie kwenye kitabu kingine. Na kumwisho wa yote wanasema lo hakuna what to be kama utasikia na mnaga kwa na yesu na sasa let us call on the lord madam badola badika kuna wakati hii mambo ya kuitia mungu itakoma kabisa kwa na yesu na sasa I understand Vile tulivyo hapa we are not going to die all of us. Hatuta kufa wote. Kristo anakuja karibuni na kuna wengine wetu. Lazima tutakuwa tungali ha? Hata kama sio mimi wala wewe lakini pengine kuna mtoto hapa atakuja kuona hiyo kitu naye. What are you planning in that person? Bwana Yesu na sasa Paul says he needed to me as I needed to Christ Is there anything in your life somebody can be needed to this time Kuna jojote ambacho mtu anaweza kujifunza kutoka kwa Bwana Yesu na sasa If not make up your mind for today Make up your mind Today, but remember this thing: God says that to Him that is faithful, you will remain faithful. To Him that is pure, everything is pure. When I say that, I go to that pure pureness. What is supposed to come out of you? Plant pureness. When I say that. Ani mimi ni kisoma neno la Mungu I see a very simple mathematics Bwana Yesu na sasa kuna wakati nilipokuwa ningali shuleni kuna hesabu ambazo zilitatisha sana Bwana Yesu na sasa and this sijui kama sahi wanafunzi wa sahi wanazifanya this sums that were only by Bijebula sama Bijebula eh Vicky Jebula Ali Ali Jebula That sum Ili mitatisha sum What is in a session Sayangine wanakuletea Mawa wa seven and a four And a one and a one Na kini wanakuabia Do and a right to parents Let me tell you my friend No matter how it was hard It had a hand What is in a session hata kama ilikuwa ngumu kwangu lakini at the end of the day mwenye anaielewa anaifanya na anafanya na mwingine anafika kwa kanisa bwana Yesu na sasa and i want to encourage you no matter how life is no matter what you are going through no matter what circumstances will come your way there is an answer bwana Yesu na sasa na ujiza hao mimi kwa wakati huo sikuwa nimejua chochote kwa sababu ili niangusha sana kwa Yesu na sasa mimi wakiniambia mambo ya pai 2 3 sijui pai what ilikuwa inanitatisha sana only for a little nilielewa pengine wakimletea ile ya 22 over 7 times ara labda hiyo ningejaribu kidogo kwa Yesu na sasa But let me tell you hata kama ilimtatisha mimi kuna mwenye alikuwa tayiweza Bwana Yesu na sasa So the only thing I do is to imitate that one that knows 
Make him to be my friend. Na wakati tunakaa na yeye meza moja, wacha nikwambie. Nitajielewa hata kuliko vile mwalimu mwenyewe angenipozi, angenipozi. Kwa hiyo sasa sasa kwa sababu yuko fanya unafiki na yeye. My brother and sister, this is a lie we have been called to. And let me just read a verse to build on what I'm speaking now. Kuna watu wameendelea kuishi maisha yao, lakini at the end of the day, it is only struggles. What is my sister? I also, I have done this because I live the same life you live. What is my sister? I face the same challenges they face. But the goodness with them that are in Christ Jesus, the Bible says that God will never permit any temptation to come your way before he has waited. And even though he lived it to put your way, he has already mentioned it. And even when it overpowers you, he also makes a way Praise the name of the living God. If it is so with Christ Jesus, I would rather go on from that side. But it's not the same. Kwa sababu wala ni kijaribu kuishi maisha yangu, wakati shida itakaya tokea hile ni siwezi. Let me say, that is my point of death. Kwa sababu wakuna jinsi ni tazaya na mahe, ni tapa hulu kupita hapa. And I want to challenge you. If we have been called from darkness to light, we have been called from every kind of turmoil, struggles to come and live at liberty, let us accept to live in liberty. Praise the name of the living God. By doing as simple as mathematics that God has given unto us. Taking heed for his word. Praise the name of the living God. It might not work according to your minds, but in reality, that is the answer. One minute, I'll say that. Ukisoma Kings, there was a problem with a man who was a king. And this man was like curious disease. Na akaambiwa kuna mtu mfalme kuna mtu wa Mungu mahali ako na suluhu kwa ajili ya shida yako. Ndio alikubaliana nao na kadhaza safari ya kwenda kuona mtumishi wa Mungu. Bwana Yesu anasema sana. And let me tell you, in his own minds alikuwa amekalkulate jinsi anaenda kuwaka kote everything. Bwana Yesu anasema sana. Na hata hivyo katika maisha yetu tunakumbana na vitu tunapiga hesabu vile tunaweza kufanya na mwanae kuvuka hizo kadu na kifo. Kwa Yesu na special. But let me surprise you. That man went to the man of God. With his own ways alikuwa amepanga niende ni surprise mtu wa Mungu ndiye alitendee vile na mweza kukona. Kwa Yesu na special. But simple mathematics was go and wash yourself in Jordan seven times. You will go and go and go. Eh? You go and go. Do you want to tell me it was hard as I may speak to you and tell you who has nothing? Go and look for a seed of seven thousand and come and plant you here. Which is simple. To go and look for seven days or to go and wash yourself for seven days. Now we are going to keep to Kumbuka. I want to bear in a new one. When it's not special. So that was the problem with this man. Now he could end up there in the moon. Hey. Praise the name of the living God. Even though that sum was very easy. And I don't hear the same man. Pani siku kuwako na majiwekine kule kinetoka. But let me tell you, to him that is faith, 
faithful. It's good to be faithful. Pray the name of the living God. It was the plan of God for him to go and bed seven times to get this deliverance. Ijapokuwa kuna vitu zingine unaweza kuingia kwamba zinaweza kukutendekea vizuri bwana Yesu anasema but the solution still remains on how you give yourself and determine your life in Christ Jesus praise the name of the living God bwana sekiwe Second Corinthians chapter 5 The Bible says, therefore, knowing the fear of the Lord, verses 11, 5 to 11, I'm reading 11, therefore, knowing the fear of the Lord, we persuade men. But what? We persuade men. But what we are is known to God, and I hope it is known also to your conscience. Praise the name of the living God. This is the word of God. Paul says that he knows the fear of the Lord. Praise the name of the living God. And by knowing the fear of the Lord, he persuades men. And whatever he is, is known to God. So he says, we are not commending ourselves to you. We are not commending ourselves to you. Again, but giving you cause to be proud of us so that you may be able to answer those who pride themselves on a man's position and not on his heart. Praise the name of the living God. Mm. As I told you, Paul commanded his believers to imitate him as he imitated Christ. And here, he says that there are them that are commanding their lives to men. Praise the name of the living God. But he urges and commands you that having known the fear of the Lord, he commands you that let everything that you are doing it can be based on the will of God. Praise the name of the living God. What has it given? What has it given? Why do you want to be a little Verses 15, the Bible says, And he died for all. That those who live might live no longer for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. Praise the name of the living God. So he died for all. That them that live, meaning that us that we live today, live not on our own lives, but rather live for him who, do, who does who, who did what? Die for us. Praise the name of the living God. Wapendo, yani wakati ni mesoma haya maaliko ni kajua kwamba most of the times mambo haya tuendei vile tunatakigana, vile inatakigana 
ama vile tunakusudia ikaweze kukaa kwa sababu bado tunaishi maisha yetu. Bwana Yesu anasema sana. But because Paul knew everything concerning his life is basis of originality ni kwa Yesu he made up his mind to imitate Christ. Bwana Yesu anasema sana. And the Bible says that everything when we do Ukisikia kusema kwamba I do not worry. I know how to live in want. I know how to live in abundance because he had rooted himself to the life of him who was calling him. Bwana Yesu anasema, I want to challenge you today. You need to see a life that is worthy, that is honorable. Change up your mind. Don't live your own life. What is my special? Ukitaka kushinda kila kitu kinachokuja mbele zako, usiishi maisha yako. That is why Paul says us, once Christ will die, he died and rose again, not for us to live our own life, but live a life for him who has died for us. Na ikiwezekana kwamba maisha ninayoishi yakaweze kumpendeza Mungu lazima nikaweze kuishi ni kwa ajili ya huyo aliyekufa kwa Bwana Yesu na Sasa. Have you ever seen Paul Brown to himself in all his letters? Umeona hapa akijinga kwa kweli? Bwana Yesu na Sasa. Ukifika mahali na fail to there is something in your life that has come out of your own power that is beginning of faith when the yes not says that because the Bible says that to them that have been called to Christ Jesus ought not to live their own lives you have to reach a place of denying your own life in order to accept to live for Christ Jesus But as an answer, and that is how you will set it during your life. But as an answer, Yesu akasema, anaye tafuta kunifuata lazima ajikane yeye mwenyewe. Kama ina usu kuishi maisha, ishi maisha ya kujikana na yeye mwenyewe. Ili ukawaze kuishia Kristo. Why is not special? Why not the deal? Why? You see the sorrows you see. You see the troubles you see. It is the first steps on the side of Christ. Why is not special? It is first steps. Yes, we are doing mambo ya kukosa Yesu ajui mambo ya kutataka Bwana Yesu anasema That is why wewe ukiishi maisha ya yule ambaye amechukua maisha yako he will lead you to a life of abundance a life of victory a life of everything that is worthy well of you Bwana Yesu anasema wakati mwingine shida the same way inakupata itafanya afikirie na tafadhali chati ya kwamba kudevelop magonjwa yanayoelekeza kufa wewe katika hiyo hali bado watu wataona unajibarika unasimama na unakuwa zaidi ya mshi bwana Yesu anasema there are people who are struggling with the cancer and are going but you hata kama utapatikana kuwa na kanza let me tell you it will not take you so when is an asesa when as a given because god has already done with the things when as a given na kama kuna kitu ambacho kama auwezi kipeana kwa yesu fully or totally fully kitu kitakachokuwa nguvu kaisha sana ni mauti ya pili kwa Yesu na Sasa. Mauti ya 
maana ya kwanza tayari ameshaishughulikia wale sasa ya kwanza ni atifishe pa hii normal level hata ukikufa kesho wakati uko na Kristo Yesu Biblia inasema hivyo kwa kuwa umekufa utakuwa unafanya namna gani tunaishi lakini mauti ya bibi ni ile utarest jehanamu ya milele kama utakuwa umepokea Kristo Yesu ama kuishi kwa ajili ya Bwana Yesu anasema so I want us to understand the life that we are living now it is not our life Paul says na si kwamba bibi ninayeishi lakini Kristo anafanya namna gani anaishi ndani mwako Bwana Yesu anasema Itapokuwa ni mimi ni gani aye katika kweli huu lakini wacha na ikajulikane kwamba ni Kristo anafanya namna gani anaishi ndani mwako na itajulikana namna gani kulingana na jinsi ninavyojiendesha jinsi ninavyofanya mambo yangu jinsi ninavyoshughulikia mambo yanayonihusu katika maisha ya dada itakmaanisha Kristo apo ndani apo ndani mwako Bwana Yesu anasema Bwana asifiwe sote tumeamuriwa ya kwamba tukaweze kuwaombea wagonjwa na watakao si ndio si wote tumeamrishwa ya kwamba tukiwekea watu mambo bigono watafanya namna gani watapona kwa sababu gani haifanyiki atujiulize because we still all to live our own life what is transfers and it can never work in the kingdom of god When you reach a place of denying yourself and giving your life totally to Christ, then Christ will start working on you. When I say that, when I say you, Christ will start working on you. When I say that, it may not work immediately. Wakati una muishia Kristo mambo hayabadiliki kwa kwa haraka hii. Bwana Yesu anasema there is also a process. Joseph alitaka sana kuishi maisha ya Mungu. But you know the story of Joseph. Bwana Yesu anasema he had to go into a process to come what God wanted him to be. Moses alijipenda na kwa Mungu but it is too quick a process of time when is not certain and I will have to tell you it is only just for a moment it is just a time of process but to them that are dedicating themselves to serve the Lord in this place at an appointed time what will happen to us at that Bwana Yesu anasema watu watakuja kushaka kama kweli unamuishia Mungu Bwana Yesu anasema I also believe God gives a life of abundance Bwana Yesu anasema lakini kuna process Na ili kwamba udhamini kile Mungu anaweza kuweka katika maisha yako lazima upitie katika hii process Bwana Yesu anasema na ndio maana David katika Samsa anasema nisingependa kumtolea Mungu kisicho kigarimu Bwana Yesu anasema kile kitu ambacho kimegarimu maisha yako na bidii yako my friend lazima ukaweze kuliangalia kwa kwa makinifu sana Bwana Yesu anasema Sometimes tunafika mahali tunamuuzia wokovu kwa sababu it is just written free and free of charge. Hakuna kitu tunalibia. That is why many of us take it for granted. Sahi kwa sababu ya ukombozi wa Kristo Yesu kwa mama wengi sana wanaweza dawa watoto na wakati kwa sababu laana ilivujiliwa mbali but 
to the mothers that understood the pain of the child ndio maana bado walibaki kujitanishwa ya kwamba uchungu wa mwana ajuae nani kwa desna sasa kwa sababu angefika mahali na alikor what he went through on giving or bringing that child to life angevalue kwa desna sasa wakati mwingine anasema kateni nipate viwili lakini mwenye alihisi uchungu wa mwana anasema ah sitaki kuona ikifanyika what is my sister and that is why our lives are just the way we are because we intend to live on our own but when we give ourselves into the life of Christ it will cause us to understand how much he paid for that life bales na sasa and everything concerning Christ ilikuja mbele zako utaziangalia kwa mtazamo tofauti haitakuwa kawaida bwana yesu na sasa wakati unapofikiria tu ningelala tu kidogo ndio wakati unafikiria kwamba eh hey, anaye ni ngoja halali wala asizi ili kwamba nipate amani you will never have peace in life lazima unaamka na utaoka lazima utaamka utetee mtu mahali lazima utaamka usaidie mwingine naye asimame katika njia zake bwana yesu anasema but because tunakupa kwa haraka we want to live our own life bwana yesu anasema so Corinthians Paul says us that the life we are living the Bible says that to them that he died for we ought to live a life of him when is my sister kuna maisha ambayo Kristo anataka tukaweze kuishi na tukiishi kulingana na vile anavyotaka then everything shall be well with us when is my sister na ukisoma hapo nyuma hapo penye wengi wanapenda sana kusoma it is now the bible says therefore if anyone is in Christ that is a memory verse. Thank you. What is my sister? If anyone is in Christ, Jesus is a new creation. What is my sister? The life you used to live, whatever thing that is costing the life of us, the Bible says it is over and it is gone. What is my sister? What are the things? Simutu akiwa ndani ya Yesu Kristo ni kiumbe kipya. Kanili maji unaenda kununua gari mpya kutoka kwa gari kwa showroom. Na unapotoka tu nje ya showroom inanoka. Kanili maji na gari. Eh? Atirimenda tu kununua. Hata kama ni simu ni mpya kweli umenyekea gharama na umepewa alafu wanapokupatia ukifungua hiyo simu ni kati na na ibadi it is a price it is what is my sister but kwa kawaida vitu kama hizo zinapatikana but let me tell you as you trust the new car that it can never have a breakdown or a new phone that can never have a breakdown kwa sababu imetoka kwa duka that is how you should trust if anyone who is in Christ Jesus what is my sister kama kweli umempokea Kristo na unaishi maisha yale Kristo anataka wacha nikwambie as the bible says that you are a new creation so you are what is my sister what has it been and if not ask yourself why see he phones me in easy electronics in the power of time in case of anything you can go and complain praise the name of the living god yaani umenunua na ikudumii bila mwitaka unaweza rudi na ukasema hapana 
Mutawana kubadu kifanya mwanane Uja inspire What is it? You either change Or you amend it to follow me But everyone who is in Christ Jesus Is a new creation The old is gone And the new has Tufike mahali ambapo wapedo tutasema we don't want to live our own. Wana isu na suweza. We don't want to live our own. We want to live a life of Christ Jesus. Wana isu na suweza. Wana sepine. Kuna watu wengine wakitua misa mwuzingine pata na shanga. Na hata mimi huo na uliza kwa sababu nafanya bibi sana nisi patikane pande ya hii ya hiyo dunia pande ya sasa aya mama sasa hivi na wakati nimefika mahali nimemanya kitu unakuta mtu anakuambia you are not a man na between me and him that is saying i'm not a man kwa kuwe ni nani aliye na makosa ni mimi ama ni mwenye anendema mimi siyo mwanaume wana yesu na sasa si mwenye ananiona kuwa mwanaume ni wako na shida kwa sababu wale ni hafi menda ama wana yesu na sasa so What I tell you is this. Though so these things are there, but what is your approach towards these things? What is your answer? There is a life of freedom and abundance in the grace of Jesus. How do you speak about it? What is your answer? You as an individual, how do you value it? Wana Yesu na sasa. So when Christ says that everything has become new, how do you value what is taking place in your life? Wana Yesu na sasa. Wana Yesu. So kuna kuna watu wanaongea mambo wapendwa. Labda kama nyinyi amsiki, lakini siku hizi wengine tu hata mimi niwaambia darani, sitawapita kwa sababu Biblia inatuhusu kwamba tusisemezane uongo. Bwana Yesu anasema sana, "The moment I come before you, take note of what you are speaking." Kwa sababu I will only judge you by your words. Bwana Yesu anasema sana, "Ongea, lakini kwa maneno yako nitajua uko wapi gani." Bwana Yesu anasema sana, "That is why hata tukifika mahali pa kuongea, when you see me silent, it does not mean nimekuwa mjinga. I only take caution." Bwana Yesu anasema Bwana Peter One day Peter was found in such a situation After God had cleansed and saved each and every person let me tell you only one man Peter did not believe it all Hapo kubaliana naye Bwana Yesu anasema Na hata alipoenda kulala na Mungu akamletea maono kwamba kitu imejuka na imejaa kila aina ya uchafu ya wanyama wote. Na akaambiwa kula, alikataza akasema mimi mimi kulangi kitu kicha. He tried to give his own life. Kwa mara mbili Biblia inasema alifanywa hivi. Now the only answer was to be found in whatever the situation it was don't call what I have sanctified to be divine when it's not special when it's the thing ndio haya maisha tunayoaishi kuna uwezekano ndio desire ya moyo wako ni kumpendeza Mungu lakini katika hali moja ama nyingine unaona mambo yasiyofaa let me tell you sio sababu ya kurudi nyuma sio sababu ya ku 
geuza mawazo endelea kukaza mwendo uende kwenye mkuu naenda bwana tunasema kaza mwe kaza mwe you never know bwana tunasema and i will tell you in times that we are living at the very old days we go to school with everyone that is coming before you when I can express that and put your trust in God and not mine kwa sababu mna time people will do things na ukiangalia hivi vile wengine wanasema huko nje ati kama hiyo ndio maisha wa Kristo wa Daniel hata badali ni kai itakuwa atakuwa good let me tell you you never know you never know the bible says that the woman when he had a king akilia usiku na mchana even though he was not mindful of him at the end of the day alifanya namna gani alimshughulikia bwana yesu anasema sana na kama angeendelea kuitisha eh ndio unaweza kuona ya kwamba mwenye ako mbele yake aishi vizuri lakini si wewe unaingia Mungu akaanza kufanya maisha yako ya kuwa bora lakini sasa kwa kupata maisha yaliyo boa utataka tamaa au utaendelea kuitana. Endelea kuitana. Bwana Yesu anasema. Wengine wakiamka wao wafanye namna gani? Kasa mwendo. Bwana Yesu anasema. Pengine hata wewe baada ya kushinda unaweza kutumika kama kifaa cha maana cha kuweza kuokoa. Bwana Yesu anasema. Imagine hadi tulianza safari sasa wengine wanaanguka pato wengine wanafika mahali wanasema hata mimi siendelee acha nikwambie sasa tu mwaenda acha tupite pale ule atakapotunua macho yake kuangalia mbele na aona oh fulani ndio ule karibu anafikia this was si atamuka na akata mwenye bwana Yesu anasema atasema kama ule anafika hata na mimi nitafanya na una gani nitasimama nifike Bwana Yesu anasema let us be watchful let us be watchful in Jesus name Bwana Yesu anasema let me just read one scripture I love to wait now tunamalizia kwa sababu ya muda Bwana Yesu anasema itapokuwa kuna mambo mengi ya kuweza kuongea maana the bible says that when we come together let us encourage one another into good things kwa hivyo pili tunafanya wapendo ni kuhimizana kwenye sina sasa ya kwamba kila mmoja wetu aweze kutembea katika njia iliyo sawa kwa hivyo sina sasa the life of Jesus is life free from every obstacles in life the bible says in Matthew 11:28 come to me those who labor and I will give you rest present them of the living god Have you been laboring there is only an outcome from our God come to me those who are weary and tired of carrying let me just and I will give you rest praise the name of the living God na jua maisha vile ya vivyo But if you come to a point of contentment there is a lot of gain bwana is na sasa bwana asivive usitafute kusukumana na maisha usitafute kusukumana na maisha yetu sisi wenyewe lakini tumwegemee Kristo anayetuwezesha kufanya mambo yote bwana is na sasa tunaelewana tunaelewana bwana Yesu na sasa tumwegemee Kristo this is not time ya kusema kwamba ati because of anything sijui ni nicha ya mfanya sijui ni mchungaji sijui ni timu it is not time for that bwana Yesu na sasa it is time where you should stop living for yourself and live for Christ bwana Yesu na sasa Really to be believe the same amount of jikale 
Now we do get to the power of God. It is time to take up your cross and follow Christ Jesus. What is the answer? And do you know what our Papa said, my man? I will still remain committed. What is the answer? I hope you are meaning to the same. Now what are you for me? As real perseverance and persistence, it brings out the fruit of all in Jesus' name. What is my special? Ni mekua ni kita pagari kwa wale ya mawa metukua sa mkose in this class and this service today. Kuna wiki wa mesomea degrees, certificates. One of the things that gives you an aggregate it is sitting time. What is my special? Kuna hile wakati imetolewa ya kwamba huyu mtu akikaa chini maka masaa fulani anapewa aggregate ya kupewa anada anada position that is higher than hile uko na bwana is not special mimi ni kwa certificates kidogo katika hii mambo ya Mungu na kile kitu wameandika kwa hiyo certificate ni aggregate time na ukifeel kufika kwa darasa ama kukaa chini madhaa hayo hauwezi pewa certificate kwa sababu gani sometimes tunadharau hii maneno ya kukaa sana katika nyumba ya Mungu tunakaa sana hii maneno ya kukaa yani the only time tunaweza mesha ni wakati tunakaa na Mungu bwana Yesu anasema sana but let me tell you to the one the other son mtu akikaa chini kwa makaa amba, kwa masaa ambayo yako valid ili kwamba apate hiyo certificate it is a sign of discipline what is my sister it is a sign of discipline and let me tell you the moment you stay in the presence of the lord guess what you are being disciplined what is my sister In Exodus chapter 8 you see the Bible says that God passed the children of Israel through desert, through dry land. The only purpose of doing that alikuwa anataka kuona tu hawa watu wanaweza nitumainia ama watumainie vitu vingine. That was the only thing he was to do. What is my special? Na wewe time hii una una kaa na Mungu. Waje nikwambie God will only value everything concerning you kulingana na vile umevalue time before him what is my special and that is why Jesus you look in his life everything every time was prayer akifanya huduma akirudi ni maombi every time he was to console God what is it And I am urging and challenging you. Let us give ourselves into this. Every time to live the book was about to make it tradition and maisha ya Mungu to live every time. What do you require of us? To find a living book. When is the last time? Sisi bibi nasema hiyo baada ya mitume kubiri. Every time watu wangeuliza, what should we do? Wakiitwa nyoka baada ya mwisho wanasema tufanye nini basi tupate uzima uzima let us go in the collection room with the lord wacha nitutumie wakati wenye tuko nao kufanya kile Mungu anataka wapendwa ili kwamba hatujui mbele kinakuja kutokea nini bwana is na special mimi katika maisha yangu singependa kwenda vile dini inaenda bwana is na special Tile tu kasumba ya kutoa vitu katika nyumba ya Bwana na unaheshimika kwa sababu wewe ni kutoa kutoa toka tu but we have been called from dependence from dead works and give our faith to to God so continue coming with the dead works and I will come by faith to him who has called me into the kingdom of faith what is my sister at the end of the day He will separate. He will distinguish. In the book of Malachi, the Bible says that he is going to draw a line of to show them that are worshiping him in truth, and them that are not worshiping him in truth. Let us fall on the side of 
those who are wasted in my truth. And it will be a good time for us in Jesus' name. What is my sister? Many times you live your own life, be ready to suffer the consequences. What is my sister? But we have been going to live a life for Christ, for Him who died for us. Let me tell you, everything is better before on that side. What is my sister? Na ukisikia watu wakisema kwamba sikuwa na mbele na nyuma lakini nilikuwa na tumaini na ikafika mahali Mungu anafanya wapendwa wa kikweli Mungu anafika mahali ambapo anasema hata kuacha na hata kukumbukia kabisa ikifika ni majira umesimama na yeye lazima wakati huo atadhihirisha kwamba yeye ni Mungu wa haki Bwana Yesu anasema hata kuacha hawezi kuacha Bwana Yesu anasema na kama hata utaamini angalia kifo cha Yesu msalaba Jinsi alikuwa amenena kwamba hata ukufa wake hautavunjwa. Si unaona wizi wa kivunjwa kivupa. Mbona Yesu hakuvunjwa? Ni kwa sababu Mungu lazima angesimama na yeye kulingana na hali yake katika hiyo lani. Bwana Yesu anasema sana. Na anaposema kwamba amekuagizia malaika wa kulinde my friend it is true but it takes how you value God himself who is worthy for you. Bwana Yesu anasema sana. Hapo nyuma nilikuwa na kazi na nilidhili ya kwamba Kristo amefanya kila kitu. Lakini tukawa tunaongea na one of my friends na ni Kristo. By the way he is a very good intercessor. Bwana Yesu anasema na ukimwambia kwamba we want to pray over this issue it will come to pass. So akawa ananiambia akafungua macho yako kabisa in another way broad way wakati nilifikiria kwamba wakati naweza ladha tu ati Kristo amenifanyia vitu zote aliniambia preacher do you know in the spiritual realm kuna vita ambavyo it is real bwana Yesu anasema yani malaika wenye wameagiziwa wakulinde wanapigana na malaika wa giza yani real 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 fight bado ina sasa unaona ile unatoa mchana unakata mwingine huyu anakata hiyo ndio vita inafanyika inafanyika only to do what to protect bado ina sasa na kaniambia do you know what as they are helping us hawataki na sisi tufanye namna gani tukae just there to when to be gani hapa na we have to engage on our side to fight against the enemies and the adversary Bwana Yesu anasema Na wakati tumechukua usingizi mwingi sana hapo ndio Biblia inasema adui hakukosa kupanda magumu kwa sababu ya usingizi ambao tunalala I decided let me fight as they assist and they help me wote tu wanisaidie kwa sababu ile mahali wanaona nitapungukia ile mewe waingilie hapo na wafanye namna gani wanisaidie Bwana Yesu anasema na tumaini tutakumbuka Bwana Yesu anasema tutaamua tutakumbuka hata kama Yesu hata kama Mungu anatusaidia tukaweze kuinuka katika hii vita tusaidiana na malaika kuhakikisha kwamba liberty yetu inafanya namna gani inapatikana Friends and members of the living God Friends and members of the living God I think I should leave that place.